everyone, my name is Jenna, but you guys can call me Jen. And welcome back to my channel. Welcome to the start of yet another vlog. Hi, hello. It is Friday at about one o'clock in the afternoon. I'm sitting here doing some work. I figured I'd start this vlog because this weekend I am going up to the lake. So it's probably gonna be a little bit of a shorter vlog because I know being up at the lake, I can't vlog as much as I would like to because my parents are around and I don't want to put a camera in anyone's faces. You know, it's weird. So that's what I'm doing this weekend. This weekend, I'm going to be reading a bunch of books. Where are they all? Oh, they're over there. <laughs> they're packed and ready to go. I have a hankering to just read all of the books, all of them, all of them, all of them. So I'll just quickly go through them. So first and foremost, I am planning on bringing a library book with me and I have four to choose from because yesterday I ended up returning my giant stack of books except for this one and I picked up three holds of mine. I have two sci-fis and one fantasy. I want to bring one with me so that I have something else to read if I run out of other things, which I probably won't because as you can see, I have three big things with me. But this is the A Big Ship at the End of the Universe by Alex White. This is a sci-fi that I had never heard of until I did that like Ask Indigo thing where they Basically, you ask Indigo for a recommendation and they give you a recommendation. They recommended A Big Ship at the End of the Universe and they also recommended Rebecca Roanhorse's Trail of Lightning, which is also on my list, but I had to return it to the library because I couldn't renew it because I didn't read it in time. But uh, the other two that I'm bringing with are for my friends pick my TBR for the month of February and they are Empire of Wild by Sherry Dimenin and Dune by Frank Herbert. So these two are my main ones that I'm really planning on reading. This has no audiobook to it that I can find and this has an audiobook that I will be listening to as well. And I also just, I love this squishy paperback cover. Like it just makes me want to clench it at all times because it's just, it's floopy and it's so like soft and squishy. I don't know how a book can be squishy. This is, it is squishy. I love it. But yeah, these two are coming with me, which is great. And I believe this library book as well. Um, and I'm also <laughs> bringing Malice with me because I also want a fantasy with me. And I'm actually reading this one because I also have so many books on the go right now <laughs> that I need to finish the books I have on my go on the go before I start anything else. So that's why I'm bringing this with me as a fa as my fantasy. And I also really like John Gwynn and I need to read this so that I can review it when, when I do my one of my dual book reviews in March. So that's awesome. Those are the four that I am definitely bringing with me. Uh, but as of right now, I am currently listening to a book that is disappointing me so much. <laughs> and it's over here. And I keep putting it on to listen to it and I'm like, okay, I only have like four hours left to listen to, which is nine hours, but at double time speed, four hours, four and a half hours left to listen to. And I just keep like listening to it for about five minutes and then picking something else to do, like watch a YouTube video or scroll on TikTok or just something else to listen to because I'm just so bored and that is the daughter of the moon goddess. And I hate that I'm so bored. I hate it because this is such a beautiful book and I've heard such good things but oh my God, could I not care less about this book and these characters? So I'm struggling, <laughs> really struggling with this one. And I'm on the fence whether or not to DNF it. <sighs> I am further than this now. Let me check where I am. All right, so I'm literally on the page 205 mark. I'm this far in and like, I wanna finish it because this book is so beautiful and I bought it. I pre-ordered it, I was so excited for it. And I know a lot of people have said that it like gets really good by the end. And that's the only reason why I'm not automatically DNFing it because I'm so bored. It feels like <laughs> I'm just being told all this stuff and not shown it. The main character is so annoying that I wanna scream every time she does something. Like at the beginning of this, she is so indecisive and meek and she's just like, oh, but I need to be strong so that I can save my mother. And then she does something and she just like cowers in a corner for a hot second or like totally 180s and then like goes against her mistress. Cause at the beginning of this, she's like, um, fled her home on the moon, which is really cool. The world building is so cool, but it's not like the idea of it is so cool, but it's not doing it for me. And the writing isn't very good. Like the writing is fine. The writing is fine, but it's just not, it's not doing it for me. It's not doing it for me. So this is either going to be a DNF or it's going to have to absolutely wow me. And I might just finish it out of spite. Like I'm so mad that I have it on Scribd because Scribd only goes up to two and a half, 2.0 speed. And I wish this could go faster. 
so that I could just get through it in like two hours, three hours. So uh. I love the audiobook narrator though. She's the same narrator who did uh, She Who Became the Sun and like One Last Stop. Like she's done so many different things. I love her. She's amazing. I also follow her on TikTok. She's great. So I love the audiobook narrator, but I just don't like the book. I really, really don't. So I'm gonna give it another, I don't know, a little bit to see if like anything like changes, but this might be a DNF or it might be a, a, like a, just a bad, bad rating at the end, which is so sad. Cause I've already committed like two, 200 pages worth of my time to it. <laughs> like the only reason I got this far was because people were telling me that or like not me directly, the internet, that like the first 150 pages were like kind of boring, but then it like turned around for them. And I was like, okay, I will stick it through for this long. I'm at the 200 page mark and it's not getting any better. <laughs> so we'll see. But yeah, this is what I'm currently listening to. I also want to keep listening to it because I do love the narrator of the audiobooks. So yes, those are the books I'm going to bring with me this weekend. I also like I am so close to just loading up my book my bag with just books. I want to like also bring Hair of the Ninth with me because I need to actually make progress in that because I friggin just keep putting it off. And I also got this in the mail today. I got Scorpica by G.R. McAllister, which is really fun. But like the funniest thing about this is I think this hardback was a misprint because there's no title on the spine. And like I know it's supposed to be gold embossed because there's like a thumbprint of gold embossing on the corner. <laughs> like not purposefully either. Like that's 100% of his print because like there's no information on the spine, which I've never seen before, which is fun. But I really also want to read this one. So like my guys, I'm just surrounded by books I want to read and I'm currently in the middle of one that I'm not liking. <laughs> Maybe I'm just gonna end up talking myself out of it, but I really want to power through. This is one of the weirdest things because y'all know I'm okay. I'm like super open to DNFing and whatever because Life is too short to read books you're not enjoying. That is my motto. That is what I tell people when I hear that they are struggling through a book. I'm like, no, don't struggle through it. Get rid of it, get, get it off, get it, get, throw it away. Get rid of it, no. Because life is too short to read books that you're not enjoying because there are too many books in this world that are just so much better than that and will be better than that for you. It's just so pretty and I was so excited for it. <sighs> So I'm gonna give it another little bit. I think I'm gonna give it to the halfway mark. And if it hasn't turned around, that's what's up for this weekend. <laughs> I am also gonna bring my laptop with me and my writing stuff. And I'm hoping to get some writing done. Actually like advance in Project Dragon, go to the, like start writing the next scene and the next scene and the next scene. So that's my plan for this weekend. It's a long weekend. Lots of reading gonna happen. And you're coming with me to the lake. Yep. Absolutely. <laughs> Fuck this book. I'm so mad at it. I really hated it. <laughs> oh man, like I did the thing where I got to the halfway mark and I was so mad, but it was a kind of mad of like, do I DNF it or do I read through just so I can rant about it? <laughs> and so I like skimmed through the last half of the book <laughs> and it is now about 320. And I have thoughts, <laughs> my guys. It's not good. It's not good. It wants to be so beautiful and I wanted it to be so beautiful and well told and just awesome, but it was not. <laughs> I think what really bothered me was the main character. She has no character arc. She is the same from point A to point B, like many years pass, but it feels like no time passes because she doesn't change at all. Her internal thinking is the same the whole way through and she's just, she gets everything handed to her, everything. Nothing is a struggle, nothing has any stakes to it. And so it makes the plot just feel like it's just moving and she's moving through it and everyone's just, it's just being handed to her. Like the things that should be difficult to do, like near the ending, there's this whole thing with dragons, are solved in like four pages because everything is just handed to her. I refuse. This. The romances were so bad. Like the both love interests were so boring and they're like paper. I am so, no, <laughs> this is a no for me. I was going to do this as a like, and I still might, I still might do this as one of my dual reviews and just have it as a rant the whole time. But I really don't like being negative about books, but when they disappoint me this hard, it's hard to be positive, my guys. So finish that. <laughs> Oh, it's gonna be a one or a two star, my guys. 
I'm gonna put it through Cop Out and I'll let you know, but I'm gonna kind of sign off here because I'm now done my work day. I just have to finish this one article. There's like this much left of it to do, to send it back to my boss and I'm off for the weekend. So I just fingers crossed that the rest of my reads this weekend are much better than that. I mean, you could only go up from here. <laughs> so I'll catch up with you guys later. <laughs>
Oh my god, okay. I'm now a chapter into Blood Scion, and oh my god, that opening chapter was so good! I am shook. I, I am the shookest of shooketh at this opening chapter. I, oh my god, this was expertly done. From the first sentence of the book, I was just like, the. it's like the main character reached out and like took my face like this and was like, you're gonna listen to me. And I was just like, I'll listen to you, tell me your story. And it's so good. So the first, first sentence, my guys, is another night, another dead body that isn't mama. I'm in love with this book and I'm only a chapter in. Like the writing is exactly what I want. It is fast paced and gripping and the descriptions are just perfection and they evoke such imagery in my mind. I'm so into this. This is how I want to model all of my opening chapters for everything that I write now. Like th this, this exactly, holy bananas. Anyways, I'm gonna keep reading. Ah. I'm officially done Empire of Wild. So I just decided to kind of power through that after I got to about page 70 of Blood Scion, which is where I stopped. And then I decided I'm gonna just finish the Empire of Wild tonight. And then now I also ordered pizza because apparently I have no self-control and it's very good. I had one bite and I'm gonna, and then I finished the last like three chapters of Empire of Wild and now I'm going to put on The Legend of Vox Machina. I think I'm gonna rewatch a few episodes or should I rewatch it from the beginning? It's a few hours. I think that's a few hours of, hours of watching. So I think I'm gonna rewatch seven, eight, nine and go into the last three. That sounds like a good idea. Okay, that's what I'm gonna do. And then I'll catch up with you guys a little later. Hello everyone, happy s Monday. S Monday. <laughs> it's Monday, hi, hello. I'm here, <sighs> my parents just left, they helped build my brand new little case. I'm really happy with it. It fits perfectly. It's got all my panel books in it and that's much better than having them in bins just on the floor. It works. And then I have my <laughs> coffee cup, which is just a mess, my goodness. But yeah, that's done. That's arrived. That's happy, amazing. And now I'm just kind of chilling. It's currently 1.20. I'm gonna make leftovers from yesterday. I'm just gonna pop them in the f in the freezer. Yeah, sure, in the oven on a pan. <laughs> I'm gonna pop the pizza on a pan, give it a little bit of a broil. I don't really have any super intense reading news. Um, yesterday I got to about page 74 with Blood Scion, and I'm gonna try and see how much more I can get done today. And I, I realized, I actually looked on Goodreads to see when it is released, and it is not released February 22nd, it's released March 8th, I think, so I do have a little bit of time before it's actually released, released, so that's nice, but besides the point, I am just gonna spend the rest of my Monday the best way I know how, which is just relaxing on my couch watching content oh but oh man yesterday the last three episodes of the legend of vox Machina, absolutely insane like i've seen campaign one like i've seen this arc in campaign one i screamed out loud at a certain part because it wasn't supposed to be this character that got hurt it was supposed to be a different character and i like screamed i was like no what are you doing <laughs> just scream scream out loud it was so good though i really 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 like what they're doing with the characters and the different story arcs and how they're changing it from the actual campaign to make it more like make it the same story but different story beats in a way not maybe not different story beats but like different details that really show the character's growth in the moment or like you know it's just it's so good <laughs> i just love it so much anyways that's been my monday so far <laughs> i keep thinking it's sunday today uh but oh i'm so happy it's gonna be a shorter week it's gonna be a good week i think i have a good feeling about this week but yeah I'm just gonna watch my pizza, eat it while watching Bones, which has been on all morning. And then I'm gonna read, I'm gonna read. And I might even write, I might even do some writing. Whatever I do do, I'll update you a little later. Hello friends, it is now much later. I totally forgot that I had to end this vlog. So it is now seven o'clock on a Monday night. Hi, hello, I am here, I am watching Critical Role! I'm finishing up the most recent episode because I didn't watch it all when it was airing and I'm just kind of hanging out. I'm just kind of hanging out. I just made dinner, so I've got that in front of me and everything is 
great and grand. Today, what did I do today? I read some, I read some more Blood Scion. I am now on page 116 and I hope to keep reading this tonight after Critical Role is finished. Hopefully we'll have thoughts for you guys for that next next weekend. But yeah, that one's not releasing until March 8th. I wanted to clarify what I said earlier in this vlog. March 8th, not this Tuesday. Uh, so you do have time to pre-order which I think you guys should. I'm only 112 pages in or 116 pages in, but I think you guys should pre-order this and or at least put it on your radar because it's real good so far. What did I do this weekend? This weekend, uh, finished Daughter of the Moon Goddess out of rage and wrath, which I'm seriously considering uh, putting, putting it in a dual book review. Might possibly the one coming up this month. We'll see. Let me guys know, let me know. Do you wanna see me rip apart this book in a video? <laughs> More than I already have in this vlog in a proper sit down book review video. Because I will, I will do that if you guys wanna see it. I also ended up finishing a book for another video, which you guys will see early March. I'm planning to put it up, friends pick my TBR. I finished Empire of the Wild and I read um, a bunch of Dune as well for that video. Haven't really done any writing, but I did yesterday take my part, one of, one of my parts of my manuscript for Project Dream and started um, implementing whatever I edited in that first eight chapters that I have previously edited, first 55 pages or whatever, with a red pen, I implemented that into the, the actual document. I did that yesterday when I was just kind of sitting here. I need to get on that so that I have a polished manuscript. That's kind of, that's kind of where I'm at. Um, it's again, start of another work week tomorrow, but it's a shorter work week, thank goodness. So I will see you guys in another video very, very soon. Stay kind and keep on reading.